Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chantal. This is my basic journey and right now I'm in Arkansas and I've been traveling for almost two weeks in my van and I don't know if you guys remember but there was once a time when I got a nomadic box and I recorded a video. It was the welcome box from them and since then I have gotten not one, not two, but three three nomadic boxes that I now have to go through and I was planning on doing a video of each one individually but it has gotten too late in the game it is already like November 23rd I believe is the date today so I'm gonna be getting my next box very shortly and so I figured I would just quickly open them all for you so you guys can see what's inside of them the last one that I got if you remember had a hammock in it it was their like welcome box so I hear that you know the welcome boxes for these like subscription things are always so much better than the rest of the boxes so I'm gonna open three months worth pretty quickly I'm not gonna go like into too much detail like I did in the last video but this way you guys can see what's in each one and decide for yourself if you think it's worth the I will also put a link in the description box in case you want to check it out. Um, I am affiliated with them. I am not sponsored, so I'm not making money making this video. But if you do want to check it out and you like it, then I will get a kickback if you order anything. It's how affiliate things work. Um, I do it for Amazon too, like any of the links for Amazon in my description box are affiliate links, which just means that if you click on it and buy something, I get a kickback. I think a lot of people were confused last time and thought that I was sponsored by Nomadic. I am not. I was just very interested in the box. And so when I ordered the box for myself, because I actually was really truly interested in it, I saw that they had an affiliate program. So if you click on the link and you order something from them, I will get a kickback. Okay, so I believe that this is the first one, which would have been September. That's how far back we're going, guys. So this is the September Nomadic Box. And like I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail about each of the items that are in here, but I do want to see what's going on because I've had these in here for so long, they're taking up so much space. So this one is nomadic on the water, so I'm guessing that whatever is in here is water related. Also each of the pamphlets go through what each item is and then it'll also give you like some coupons that you can use. So they have coupons for each brand of item that comes in here. Hmm, this actually sounds pretty good. So the first thing that was right on top is this yum butter and it looks like it's keto friendly. So it's this little nut butter macadamia flavored pouch. Um, unfortunately, I did not open this in time and apparently was Best Buy 925 of 2020. But that was the first item. They send you a sticker in every box, which if you guys know me, you know I love my stickers. So this one just says Venture Into the Unknown with a nomadic sign on it. Here we have... It's from the brand All Good and a sunscreen butter. All organic ingredients, SPF 50. The fact that it's SPF 50 makes me really happy because I burn. And so SPF 50, this would be perfect for my face because it's really small. But this is great. I can, I can actually really use this. This next item is a floating wristband from the brand Carson. It says it will float cameras, keys, phones, and more. Um, I don't know if I'll actually use this. I don't go on the water much and if I do go in the water It's usually like walking in if I ever get a kayak though because that is on my wish list is a nice kayak and a kayak Thing for my roof, but eventually when I have that this will come in handy But for right now, I really don't have a use for this unless if I go on the water Which I usually don't that'll be cool if I ever get a kayak this next items from the Aloha brand and I don't really know what it is yet. I can't really tell just from the packaging, so I am going to open it up and find out what's in here. Let's see. Splash proof travel bags. So it looks like it's made from 100% coated Tyvek, which I'm not really sure what that is. Maybe somebody can enlighten you all in the comments. Um, but it looks like it's to keep things dry. So you can... Put wet stuff in here to keep everything else dry or you can put dry things in here to keep water out 
And I like that 5% of the profits go to Hawaii conservation organizations from this brand. There's also a coupon for 30% off. It's Travel Light 30 if you guys want to check out the brand. This is actually a cool item because this will be really nice for like in the showers. Like if I bring shower stuff and I can put my loofah in here when I'm done. Because right now I'm just putting it back in the backpack and it's kind of getting everything kind of damp. So this will be nice for that. I could use this. This is the last item in the bag which I saw on their Instagram. A bunch of people posting pictures of this. So I already kind of knew that this was coming. But this is a waterproof phone case from the brand Earth Pack. Now this can go in water. It's a watertight enclosure, fully submersible, and it looks like it'll fit pretty much any phone, maybe even the Galaxy Note. I know those things are like giant little tablets. Like I said, when I get my kayak, when I get my kayak, I will be needing this. So that was a September's box, and now we'll move on to October's box and see if this one is maybe more up my alley. It looks like the theme of the month for October is fix it, so I'm hoping there's a lot of things that can help me in here. Aw, this month's sticker is so cute. That is totally right up my alley. This will look great on my Thule. Somebody said I said Thule weird, but that's how it was, it was pronounced to me, and so that's kind of just how I've always pronounced it. But looks like the first thing in here are ellipse cord locks. And so I do have a lot of things that have these little cord locks on them. And so I think that'll be cool if one of them ever breaks or whatever. I will have extras. Might come in handy. Ooh, this is fun. So this is a zipper fix kit. I bring zippers, man. I don't, I don't understand why. The next item is from the brand Gear Aid, which they've actually given me before. They gave me these little patches from them. And this one looks like it's repair tape. So it's like the patches that I got, but in case if it's a bigger tear, this would be better for that. So I do have a couple tents. I have like my big pop-up tent that's like a screen wall tent. And then I do have like a regular two-man tent that in case, you know, I have guests or something, we can set them up their own little space. But this would be really good in case if it ever rips. I don't know. It is just a Walmart brand tent, so it's very possible. But this comes in handy. So every month in the box, they send you like a little food item. And I've gotten lucky with the first two boxes that I've opened were vegan. However, this one isn't. Um, this is oats and unfortunately does have egg whites in it. But other than that, it looks like it's pretty clean ingredients. All it has is oats, almonds, dates, egg whites, vanilla beans, natural flavors, and sea salt. But, I mean, for somebody who eats eggs, this would be really great. Each box also comes with, like, a bigger or more expensive item in the box. And this is what this month's was, is, like, a hex drive toolkit. It has a whole bunch of different sized Phillips heads and hex heads or whatever. I'm not really sure. Just different screwdriver heads that you can use. And this whole tool is, like, the actual screwdriver. Let's see if I can take it out and look at it. It's so cute. <laughs> I always like love tiny things. Who else loves tiny things? I feel like every person, just because it's like cuter, you know, loves tiny things. Okay, how do we open this? Let's see. Maybe I'll read the instructions for it. Instruction manual says, I'm not seeing that, bro. Ah, ah. Just slides on out like that. So this is the little contraption here. This pulls out and it goes on the other end here. And then you can choose different heads. This looks like, oh, sorry, Joe. This looks like your standard Phillips. And then you just take the little pieces and you can put it in there. And then bam, the screwdriver. It comes with all these little heads on it too, which will come in handy someday when I need to screw something. Very fun. I love these things. Like, I love little gadgets and stuff, especially when they're mini. Because this is something that I can fit in my van nicely. So that was the box of October, and now we only have one more box here. This is the November box. Theme of the month is Light the Night. I'm hoping that it gives me a new flashlight because I lost mine. 
I got the same sticker as the October box, so I'll probably put this in one of my giveaways for my Patreon group. If you're interested in checking that out, I'll put the link in the description box. So the first thing I pull out of here is from the brand 1-8. It looks like it's a light diffusing bag. Um, so I probably won't be using this just because I usually am not trying to like diffuse my light. I'm usually trying to find more light, but I mean, I guess it's cool if you're somebody who has like a really bright light and it's just too much for you, maybe like in your tent or something. And so you just put this over your lantern. So here is my lantern and here's my lantern on. And then you could just diffuse the light like so. I don't know. I don't see why you would want to do that unless you have like a ridiculously bright light, which I don't. This is pretty standard. Um, however, I do really like this. It's from Fred Meyer. So I don't know. I don't know if the brand is 1000 Lumen, but I bought this. It was like $20 or so. And I've only had to replace the batteries once in it. And I've had it for like almost six months now. So... I probably won't be getting rid of this, but the next item in my November box was this reflective guy line. If you're somebody who goes into the forest and sets up a camp somewhere, like I'm usually stationed around my van, right? And so I usually have lights around my van. But if you're somebody who sets up a camp, this would be really good to like set a perimeter around it. So that way you'll see where your perimeter of your camp is in the nighttime because this will reflect off of any light. These next two items are very exciting and something I will definitely be using a lot of. So the first one is this buglet and it looks like it's just this little light that you can like wrap on things and it'll stand up on things. It looks really cute. I kind of want to open it. Is it like rechargeable or something or do you just have to get a new battery for it maybe so it's an led micro flashlight high power low power and strobe modes it sits stands stays and shines and it does it has a lithium to battery water resistant which is pretty awesome i'm gonna see if i can open this little thing up Aw, he's cute read instructions to activate it was not that hard to figure out all you do is press the button oh my god he's so cute so you can just set him down places or wrap him around on things to make him stay places but he's just this little light I really like him I think he's super cute and he'll probably just like hang out over here oh my god I love him cool so the final and kind of the bigger item of the November box was this headlamp by Sunco. It is a Pivots 360 Versa 3 watt LED headlamp. It's rechargeable with a USB and it continuously burns for up to 30 hours. It comes with multiple different settings on it. High, medium, low, flash, and SOS mode, which is probably like a red blinking light. Um, I do already have a headlamp, however, it is a cheap one that I got from Walmart and it just takes a double A battery. I really like that it's rechargeable with a USB rather than the one that I have is using batteries. That way it produces less waste, but it's going to be really nice because I did lose my flashlight and I was really hoping that it would just like be a flashlight in this box, but this will work just fine because I have no idea where my little flashlight went and it was only like four inches. It was a tiny one. It matched my headlamp that I got from Walmart took a double-a battery just one double-a battery and it worked really well for the last like three years because i bought it for a festival a while ago but this will come in handy for sure i also like that the plug is a micro usb so that way if i lose this tiny little cord then i can use the other ones that i have laying around but it looks like it's pretty nice and when they said it was 360 it really does like you can move it around let me try this on so they do have a coupon for this, 35% off. It's Nomadic 35. Um, you can use it until July of 2021. But this thing is cool. I can move it around all crazy. <laughs> like I can point it straight down. Or I can point it straight up. Or just straight. Oh, look at it. All the different settings. Very fun. 
I will definitely probably get good use out of this and this little buglet thing. He is so cute. But other than that, the rest of the box was kind of like meh. And especially because they gave me the same sticker that they gave me last month. And I really do appreciate getting a new light because I, like I said, lost my other flashlight. So this will actually be very useful. Also, my November box did not have a food item in it, which usually it does. And so I'm going to go through and look up the prices for all three of these boxes and see how much the merchandise inside actually costs. On the website, it claims to have at least $50 to $70 worth of merchandise in each box. I always have fun opening up these subscription boxes. I know I talked about this in the last video that I made about it, but I really do have fun opening the boxes, which is why I subscribed in the first place. I actually really enjoy opening them. All right, you guys, again, I will put a link for the Nomadic Box down in my description box below if you want to check it out. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, please do so below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!